the observatory. And this is where we're going to be at today. You know, it's come to my attention on the YouTube that a lot of people are very distressed because other people are letting them down or they feel like they don't have any friends or whatever. And most of you guys are out there in your 20s and 30s. That's Unfortunately, you're in the age right now to where you've gotten out of high school and you've entered adult life. And in the adult life, that's pretty much the way things are. People have so many different things going on in their lives that they don't have time for other things like they used to when they were younger because they have obligations now. Families, car payments, house payments, taking care of their parents or whatever. So don't let that get you down. What you need to do is you just need to find a friend or two. Just a couple of them. That's all you need, you know. It's like on Facebook, the big thing is like, like the, the commercial uh, where these, they're making uh, now about kids and their parents on Facebook and stuff and they've got 600 friends. How in the world can you have 600 friends? You can't have 600 real friends. And the people you meet on the internet, they're really not your friends. They may be just people you know. And if you're into collecting numbers and stuff like that, well, you know, don't make fun of other people that only have a couple friends on there because those are real friends that they can count on. You can't count on people that you meet on the internet unless the people you grew up with. Because unfortunately, that's the way we are in life. We tend to be taking care of ourselves and sometimes the immediate family and sometimes not even that. So if you get down because people make promises, they're going to say this and they're going to say do that, and they don't, well, don't let it get you down. Just realize that it's not you. It's just the world that we live in nowadays because we have so many different things going on that we don't have time if it's not making money for them or if it's not beneficial to what they're doing in life because that's, that's how we are as a society. We're very not self-centered but we tend to uh, want to take care of things that we have on our own. We don't want to take care of other people because it's too much of a drag. And people have bills to pay. You know, health care bills, insurance bills, car payments, house payments, alimony, uh, taking care of kids that you have to take care of uh, from other marriages. You know, that's the way things are nowadays. And it's called a vicious cycle. And in order to change the way we live as a culture, we need to break that cycle. And in order to break that cycle, we need to make changes in the way we live. And until that happens, it's going to be carried on with your kids, grandkids, and so on and so on. It's like prejudice. It's been taught to us from ages ago. And you know, it's not that so much people not liking people of different colors. It, it's really, it's the culture. We don't like other cultures. And that's the way things are. So, if you want to make changes, then you got to make changes in yourself. And that's hard to do. And people out there tend to make fun of people that want to make change. Because they're different. They're out of the ordinary. And they're not normal. What they think is normal. So, don't let stuff like that get you down. What you got to do you just realize that that's how people are. And until we change it as a society, it's not going to change. So just remember that. Okay, guys? Till next time, take it easy.